my wonderful friends. Welcome to the wonderful world of Chinese characters. I am your good friend, Confucius. I mean, Mencius. I mean, Encius. Yes, Encius. That's who I am. Anyway, let's look at today's characters. The first one is this one here, which is the verb to be. This one is read shi, s h i, fourth tone shi. This character has been around for quite some time, and its meaning has changed several times. Its original meaning was to be correct. Let's look at the Jin style. On top is a sun, and on the bottom is the character Zhong, which here means correct. This means that to see if something is correct or not, you should look at it under the sun. That makes shi an associative compound character because its meaning comes from the combined meaning of two components. Now let's look at the Zhuan style. Not much change. By this time, shi had already taken on a new meaning. This. Then there's Li style, which looks very much like the modern Kai style. It wasn't until the past few hundred years that shi took on the meaning of to be. Okay, and one character often used together with shi is the negative prefix bu. If used on its own, it means no, and when used with a verb or adjective, it means not. Bu was actually borrowed from another meaning, the receptacle of a flower. It's a pictographic character, so if you use your imagination, especially while looking at the Jiagowen, bu looks much like a flower. Then it underwent some slight changes in its later styles: Jin, Zhuan, Li, and Kai. As I mentioned. The meaning later changed from flower receptacle to a negative prefix. If you put bu and shi together, you get bu shi, which means to not be. But bu is not the only negative prefix in Chinese. There are many more. Let me show you a few of them. There's this one here, fou. As you can see, on top is a bu, and on the bottom is a kou, which means mouth. This represents using one's mouth to say no, thank you, or what have you. Let's review our characters for today. We looked at shi, which means to be, and bu, which is the main negative prefix in Chinese. That's all for today. See you next time, friends.